I'm Canadian artist Roxanne Jervis, and I've been showing people how to draw an ellipse when they're doing drawings of mugs and, and uh, glasses. And when you take a cup and you look at it straight down, you have a perfect circle. But as you get further above it, you can see the angle of the cup changes. And that change is called an ellipse. A lot of people have trouble figuring out how to get a nice ellipse. There is one version with a compass which is very accurate and very mathematical, but there are a few easier versions. One of the ones is to take a piece of string about seven inches long and tie a knot in it. And then you take two pencils and depending on the size of the ellipse that you want, you can hold this pencil about like that. Then you take the pencil that you're drawing, you pull the string out, and you just go all the way around, continuing to pull the string. And there you have an ellipse. If you want to make it easier or further up, for example, looking at the cup like that, you have a much narrower ellipse than this one. You do the same thing, put the pencils, and I'm using a nice point on here so I can see what I'm doing. Stretch it tighter and do the same thing. Maybe I'll stretch it a bit tighter yet. Maybe it's too tight. Okay, here. So there you have a narrower ellipse. I'm going to erase these squiggly lines here, but you can see, whoops, you can see how that makes a difference. Now I did try it earlier by putting a pin into this foam core just to just see if it really worked well, and it does. That's the one way to do it. And if you want to make a full circle, you just put a pencil here and Go all the way around, and if as long as you uh, don't move the middle pencil, you get a full circle. So if you want a smaller circle, you just make a smaller piece of string and you get a full circle. So that's a really easy way to make an ellipse. Now, when you want to go from there onwards, you can take your ellipse, and I'm going to do the double one again. and you want to make a cup or a glass. You realize that at the bottom of the cup, the arch is exactly the same as this end. So as long as I get these pencils in exactly the same spot down here, and I'm not sure if they're exact, but I should have measured, but to get the bottom of the cup, There's your curve, which should match. Now, in order to do it properly, is I would take this point and measure down, and this point and measure down exactly the same distance to join the side of the cup now, just lightly. And there you have a very nice looking cup. And I can see here that the um, bottom curve is not the same as the top one. So here's the one point, here's the other point. Here. So say we'll measure down, making sure this is vertical. Use your thumb on the edge of the paper with your ruler, and then at least you know you're parallel. So say we'll go from two and a quarter to five there, five here, so here and here, pushing down on the top of your pencils. There, you can see that's a little bit better. The way you can double check is if the side here is, say, three inches, the middle here should be three inches, and the side here should be three inches. Gives you a nice ellipse, very simply. I'll do another way of an ellipse, ellipse shortcut number two, on another video, and then you can watch that one as well. So have fun using seven inch piece of string. Now, if you want it smaller, make it shorter. Put a knot in maybe around here. Two pencils, angle them, pressing down to keep them sturdy, and then 
take another pencil around here. So paper, three pencils, and a piece of string to get your ellipse. Well, if you like what we do, please subscribe and share with your friends, and we'll see you next time.